اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دی پارٹ 01 مین دا فرسٹ ویڈیو آن انٹروسیو کوروجن مانیٹرنگ ان آئلینڈ گیس ایز یو نو مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر محبوب الہی رانا آئی ایم انٹرنیشنل کوروجن کنسلٹنٹ مائی کانٹینٹ نمبر از گیون ان ہیئر مائی کانٹینٹ ای میل از گیون ہیئر my youtube contact is given here please subscribe to my youtube contact and make my mission popular in spreading knowledge on materials corrosion and inspection thank you so much let us start first with understanding what is corrosion monitoring Corrosion monitoring is the practice of measuring the corrosive and erosive characteristics of the environment or the fluid. Corrosion monitoring is done using intrusive techniques. Remember one thing, corrosion monitoring does not reflect exactly what is happening on the surface of the facility like pipelines or vessels it just give you the idea or the relative right corrosion situation that might be expected to have occurred or occur on the surface of the pipelines or the vessels or the other facilities we understand that what is corrosion monitoring the next question comes up what is corrosion evaluation now corrosion monitoring corrosion evaluation are not the same thing corrosion evaluation is the practice of measuring the changes in the characteristics of materials such as loss of wall thickness loss of ductility loss of integrity corrosion evaluation is done using mostly non intrusive techniques the crew monitoring deals with the exactly what may be happening or what might have happened on the surface of the facilities such as pipelines vessels and other equipments another question comes up then what is corrosion monitoring technology this slide explains that corrosion monitoring technology is cost effective method for assessing the condition of the plant and the mechanism for maximizing plant life cycle and minimizing life cycle cost in general corrosion monitoring technology covers corrosion monitoring strategy selection of monitoring evaluation techniques monitoring evaluation locations corrosion hardware selection data collection data management data and cost analysis what is the purpose of corrosion monitoring this slide will explain you that it gives you the early warning what might have happened to the surface of the materials in the facility or what is likely to happen to the materials in the facility it correlates the changes in process parameters and their effect on system corrosion oxygen ingress and other parameters which are likely to affect the rate of corrosion it is used as a diagnostic tool identifying corrosion mechanism it causes and the rate controlling parameters such as pressure temperature ph flow rate oxygen sensors and etc it also helps in selecting the materials corrosion inhibitors optimizing corrosion control and mitigation strategy product contamination is another issue which is very very important as part of the corrosion monitoring and to understand that the how the corrosion products are contaminating the actual facilities 
products. It also helps in management of maintenance, reduce maintenance and inspection cost. This slide is the continuation of the purpose of crow in monitoring. It helps in risk-based inspection planning, reliability enhancement, and life extension, safety enhancement, and reduce environmental impact, integrity verification of process piping, pipelines, and fixed assets. It is used in optimizing the opportunity crude oil use in the refineries, and also its economic benefits, which are to be understood after doing the crew monitoring and it crew monitoring also regulates the capex and the opex of the processes this slide shows the application of corrosion monitoring crew monitoring is typically used in the following situations where risks are high high pressure high temperature flammable, explosive, and toxic processes. Process upsets expected uh, to enhance uh, corrosion activity, and uh, changes in operating condition expected to cause significant changes in corrosion rate, where corrosion inhibitors are in use. Corrosive constituents are concentrated due to repeated cycling. This slide is the continuation of the applications of Grow in monitoring and growing monitoring is used where process feed stock is changed, where plant output or operating parameters are changed from design specifications. In evaluating growing and behavior of various metals and alloys, potential shifts are used to protect system and or structures, and where the powder contamination is likely to happen due to corrosion. This slide shows the terminologies commonly used in growing monitoring. The first one is what is direct growing monitoring. It measures the parameters directly affected by the corrosion processes. Then the indirect growing monitoring that measures parameters either affect or affected by the corrosiveness of the environment or the products of the corrosion process. The intrusive corrosion monitoring, which is actually the topic of this presentation, it requires access through the pipe or vessel wall for corrosion monitoring. Non-intrusive corrosion monitoring requires no access through the pipe or vessel wall for corrosion monitoring. This slide is the continuation of terminologies commonly used in coin monitoring. What is real-time monitoring? It measures and detects changes in the parameters under investigation, essentially as they occur. What is online coin monitoring? It measures on continuous basis parameters such as metal loss, corrosion rate, pressure, temperature and flow rate changes in an operating system. Data is obtained without removing the monitoring devices. What is offline corrosion monitoring? It involves methods in which a sample is taken for subsequent analysis either on-site or off-site or usually in the laboratory. This slide shows the techniques uh, used in the direct intrusive corrosion monitoring such as mass loss or weight loss using coupons electrical resistance probes which is we normally call them as er probes inductive resistance probes sand probes and visual inspection this slide shows the techniques based on direct current and alternating current in common use in direct intrusive growing monitoring in the oil and gas facilities. Techniques based on direct current are linear polarization resistance probes, zero resistance emitter between 
dissimilar metals uh, are alloys. Zero resistance emitter between same metal and alloys. Potential dynamic polarization, galvanodynamic polarization, electrochemical noise. And techniques based on alternating current or AC current are the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy and harmonic distortion analysis. This slide shows indirect online corrosion monitoring techniques which are in common use in oil and gas facilities, such as the corrosion products and analysis, hydrogen monitoring, electrochemical techniques which are based on corrosion potential measurement or ECOR, and water chemistry parameters uh, such as pH, conductivity, dissolved oxygen, and redox potential. The continuation of the indirect online growing monitoring techniques, fluid-based techniques or the flow regime, means is a turbulent flow or a laminar flow, flow velocity, which is very important that controls the rate of corrosion. Process parameters uh, such as pressure, temperature, dew point. Deposits and analysis. Deposit means are the fouling deposits uh, and the analysis of those deposits is very important to understand what might have happened in the system and what is likely to happen in the system. This slide is a continuation of the index offline crew monitoring based on water chemistry. In water chemistry, the actual parameters which are monitored are the alkalinity, metal ion count, iron, copper, nickel, zinc, or manganese, concentration of dissolved solids, suspended particles, their shape, size, and configuration, gas analysis such as hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, residual oxidant such as halogen halides and redox potential and microbiological analysis mainly for sulfide ion which is very very important in determining the cause of the corrosion and subsequent control of the corrosion. This slide is the continuation of indirect offline chlorine monitoring based on water chemistry which starts with inhibitor residuals of filmic chlorine inhibitors reactant corrosion inhibitors. Chemical analysis of process samples includes uh, total acid number, sulfur content, nitrogen content, and salt content in the crude oil. This slide shows the hardware used in corrosion monitoring uh, in oil and gas. It comprises of uh, two types of uh, access fitting. One is called low pressure access fitting. Other one is called high pressure access fitting. The low pressure access fitting comprised of one inch full port wall mounting. These are rated up to the 1500 PSI. In my opinion and my experience, I prefer to use the pressure rating to the maximum pressure of 1000 PSI unless there is a reason to use them to the pressure less than 1500 PSI because it is good to have some type of a pressure cushion in there in case of the pressure offsets. These mountings are either fixed or retractable. Fixed means that the devices which are exerted through these fittings cannot be removed unless the system is shut down. Retractable means that devices which are inserted through these excess fittings can be removed under pressure on stream or without shutting down the system. Devices which are normally used with low pressure excess fittings are the coupons, probes, we can have sampling point, we can have injection point. High pressure excess mounting fitting which are normally called two inch excess fitting which are generally known as two inch HPAF these pressure fittings are rated to the 6,000 PSI. In some special cases, even up to 10,000 PSI are now available. 
these are generally retrievable retrievable means that the Kurem monitoring devices fitted through these access fittings can be retrieved when the system is under pressure, means without shutdown. Devices which are also inserted through these pipe access fitting are the coupons, the probes, sampling points, and the injection points. This slide shows chlorine monitoring locations on pipeline. There are various ways to install chlorine monitoring devices on the pipeline. Starting from left is with the three-inch corrosion coupons, which are not installed to the middle of the line. The next one is the multi-disc coupon installation, where the more than one disc are used to monitor the corrosion in the pipeline starting with the top of the line, middle of the line and the bottom of the line. This slide shows the long 6 inches strip coupons. This mounting shows the flush disc coupons which are normally surface to the bottom surface of the top of the line so that if there's a picking operation, it is not affected by the coupon installations. This shows the ladder coupons. There are more than one coupons are placed on the same system with the top of the lines, middle of the lines, and bottom of the lines. The installation of these devices is critical in case of the pickable and non-pickable lines, and also in determining the subsequent impact of the these devices on the downstream of the of the of, of the of the line also these are very important the actual orientation of these coupons this slide shows further locations on growing monitoring on the pipelines which mainly a three-phase system or a gas in there or the gas crude oil and water in there. It starts with the top line dead gas trap in case there is a need to monitor the growing on the inner side of the top of the line. Then we normally use this type of fitting and this type of devices in there which installed on the top of the line. Uh, the top line in stream that where the devices are installed both which cover the top of the line as well as the middle of the line then we have the devices which cover the top of the line middle of the line and the bottom of the line in a the three phase line which has gas oil and water in case of the water we have to install the chrome monitoring device at the bottom of the line. This shows the actual uh, how the chemical injection or sampling points are installed on the pipeline. This shows the sideline in stream, how the actual uh, the devices are fitted on the side of the stream. This slide shows the better view of the chrome monitoring location on the pipeline. The left one shows that how the coupons or devices are installed closer to the top of the line. This, the second one shows that how the monitoring devices are installed to the middle of the line. The third one shows the how the current monitoring devices are installed to the bottom of the line. The next one, the fourth one shows that how the chrome monitoring devices are installed from the bottom of the lines. Now it's very critical to understand where and how the chrome monitoring are to be installed for effective chrome monitoring and for effective chrome monitoring data collection. This slide shows the further chrome monitoring locations on a pipeline, starting with the first one from the left. It is a single probe trap retrievable from underneath. The second one shows the single probe trap retrievable from the side. 
The third one shows the double probe trap retrieved from the sites. The third one shows the double probe trap, right, which is possibly installed through hot tapping. This slide shows the location of the groin monitoring on chokes. The left one shows the installation on the side of the choke. The middle one shows the groin monitoring location from top of the choke. The right one shows the groin monitoring location also from the top of the chokes. It's not just only the locations, it's also very important to understand, right, how to choose the location and what should be the orientation of the chrome monitoring devices. This slide shows the chrome monitoring location on the main gas or oil pipeline. This shows the bottom of the, of the pipeline where the chrome monitoring boot is installed and into the crew monitoring boot the Korean devices are installed. It's very important to understand where to have the crew monitoring pit. It's not just only that you can have the crew monitoring installations at anywhere you like. No. It is very very critical to understand how and where to have the crew monitoring pit. And that is where you need a Korean expert or a Korean consultant of experience like me. This slide shows uh, the Korean monitoring locations on flow line. This is uh, shows that where the actual Korean monitoring spools are installed. Now it's not uh, that easy just to have a Korean monitoring spool installed anywhere. No, you have to pick up the right location, right type of the Korean monitoring spool and right type of the material you used in there. It also shows that you can also install the Korean monitoring spools on the side stream as shown in the diagram. This slide shows uh, the location of the Korean monitoring uh, on the risers. Now on the risers, uh, it is very important to, to pick up the right locations where uh, there is uh, a permanent flow of the liquid and the right uh, velocity is uh, monitored in there. This slide shows that uh, you have these uh, locations uh, put on the bottom of the line of the riser uh, to make sure that uh, these devices are always in contact with the worst case scenario of the liquid flow in the riser. This slide shows the Korean monitoring locations on vessel. It's very, very critical to select the right location for collecting the right data. We need to have a location which gives us the worst case scenarios of the corrosion in the vessel. In this case, as shown in the diagram, we have the chemical injection stored on top of the vessel. Next to it, we have uh, a chrome monitor device uh, installed in the dead gas trap. Then we have another location where we can install a chrome monitoring device uh, as required. And then it shows uh, the installation of the chrome monitoring devices on the exit side of the gas flow. On the bottom on left, uh, we have uh, a dead water uh, sludge trap where the installation is stored from the side. And uh, on the right, uh, we have the installation of the cooling monitoring devices in the flowing liquid. So we need to know that in this case, we have a two phase or three phase scenarios where the Korean rates are different in each phase and each phase has to be monitored separately. This slide shows uh, the side stream probe monitoring uh, devices uh, which is used uh, to install coupons and uh, monitor corrosion, erosion, pressure, temperature, uh, flow and fire probes. It can also be used to check the inhibitor efficiencies. It is easy and quick to install. It has operating pressure to 1100 
and 25 psi. The separated temperature is up to 200 degrees centigrade. The standard 1 inch T fitting for connection. It can be stored between upstream and downstream with flexible hoses. This slide shows the configuration of the side stream chrome monitoring hardware, where the chrome monitoring devices, the pressure monitoring devices, and the chrome probes are installed. It's very handy and useful to have such a side stream in in case uh, it's not possible to have uh, a direct fitting installed on the main line or on the actual main facilities like the vessels or the flow lines. This slide shows uh, the configuration of the one inch low pressure access fitting uh, on the right of the slide, which has uh, the actual uh, the photo of the low pressure access fitting uh, and next to it the coupon holder. This coupon holder can pass through this access fitting on stream. Low pressure one inch mounting assembly with a coupon holder. This assembly allows the access into the facility while the system is operating. Also it allows the mounting devices to be retracted without shutting down the facility. This slide shows a Configuration of the two inch high pressure access fittings and hollow and solid plug mounting assembly. On the right, uh, you can see that this is solid plug uh, mounting assembly. Next to it is the hollow plug uh, mounting assembly through which the coupons and the sand probes can be installed. The other figures what you see in there are the actual two inch pressure access fitting with different welding configurations like it requires a flare weld. This fitting requires a butt weld, socket weld and MPT fitting and flange fitting. How to select such an access fitting is another critical matter. That is where you need an expert in Korean monitoring and in corrosion investigation.